Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Rick Marr. It is uh, a little after seven in the morning on Thursday, uh, July 27th here on the East Coast. So, um, you know, I saw this interesting uh, article this morning on CNBC, and I'll link this in the description below. Uh, basically, Salesforce owns Slack. I did not know that. I don't know if you knew that, but Salesforce owns Slack. We use Slack in our business. A lot of businesses use Slack or other similar types of communication systems, especially since um, you know since COVID hit and we have a lot of remote workers and all those kinds of things. It's a great way to stay in touch. Uh, but it was down the other day, and this got you know, yesterday, um, and this got me to thinking. Since we're all so reliant on these various apps. Right. We're also reliant on, you know, the Internet of Things, let's just call it. Right. And, you know, this affected our business yesterday. We couldn't communicate for a period of time, which was a little frustrating, but it came back up. But think about this in the long term. How do we uh, spread that risk that if let's just say apps, Internet things are down for an extended period of time? How will these things affect our business, right? But more importantly, what are things that we can do to uh, back those things up or spread that risk, right? So we don't have all of our concentration in one place of how we communicate with our teams, with our clients, you know, with our prospects, with our banks, you know, with everything that's important to us, our QuickBooks or our bookkeeping systems, those types of things. Everything that's important to us is connected through the, the internet of things. So just think about that. It could be mind blowing. What are some ways that you can have backups should any of these key important systems in your business go down? Anyway, that's what I was thinking. Uh, if you please like, subscribe, share, be great. Thanks. Have an awesome day.